2016 BMW 330e Performance Sport Review. From 24,800 pounds. 9. Point. Plug-in Hybrid 3 Series shows the benefit of BMW's experience with the i3 and i8. Sophisticated, swift, and broadly talented to drive and sweet handing, too. What is it? The BMW 330e is currently one of the smartest ways for the company car driver to make his monthly car allowance go that bit further. It's a car that feels at once like a really authentic BMW sports saloon as well as a visionary chunk of the electrified motoring future, two concepts you probably weren't expecting to find executed on the same set of four wheels. The car is a plug-in hybrid petrol-electric saloon of a familiar type, driven primarily by BMW's 182bhp 2.0-liter turbocharged petrol engine, which sends its power to the car's rear wheels via an 8-speed automatic gearbox. But in place of a conventional automatic saloon's torque converter is an 8.7bhp electric motor and an additional clutch, the former drawing power from a 7.6 kWh lithium-ion battery located under the boot floor. When both power sources team up, the 330E can summon 249bhp and 310 pounds foot and hit 62 miles per hour from rest in a whisker over 6 seconds. And yet it can also cover up to 25 miles on battery power alone, according to BMW, and emit only 44g-km of CO2 on the EU emissions test, which means it qualifies for benefit in kind tax at just 7% of its showroom price. This, therefore, is a 250bhp, 35,000 pounds BMW 3 Series that costs less on company car tax than an 18,000 pounds Fiat Tipo diesel, and even bought privately, with the government's 2,500 pounds grant in the mix, it can be snapped up for considerably less than the list price of either a 330i or 330d. Above and beyond that, the 330ES selling point is very much typical BMW brand performance and dynamism. And so those familiar with the handful of plug-in hybrid saloons, hatchbacks, and estates already on the market will note that the car offers markedly better peak power and accelerative pace than the likes of the Volkswagen Passat GTE, Audi A3 Atron and Volvo's V60 D5 twin engine, while being trumped on paper only by the Mercedes C350e. What's it like? Having already had a taste of the 330e abroad, we knew to expect both sporting verve and outstanding refinement from this powertrain. And on UK roads, it doesn't disappoint. The petrol portion of the car's propulsion system is very well isolated, so you barely hear it when operating at low crank speeds, but it's also nicely gruff and spirited when working hard. There are three powertrain modes to choose between, Auto a drive, max a drive, and save battery as well as the usual sport, comfort and echo pro mode selected via the driving experience control toggle switch adjacent to the gear lever. All that may sound like the sort of complication likely to put many off a car like this but, in fact, it's easily negotiated. You'll leave the powertrain in auto a drive mode 99% of the time allowing the car to manage its own battery condition and run in range extended mode when it needs to. BMW's claim for a 25-mile electric-only range was made to look optimistic during our testing, when, on a chilly November morning on mixed roads and in mixed traffic conditions, we only managed 14 miles on a full charge. That's not great. Still, that'd be enough to transform your real-world economy return on a fairly short-range commute. If you live about 30 miles from where you work, you can expect to better 80 mpg after a full at-home charge. When touring, once its electrical resources are idling, the 330e will return around 4-5 mpg at typical motorway pace and that's a return that, predictably enough, doesn't deteriorate much in heavy traffic or on urban roads. There's a hint of a delay in accelerator pedal response when the car is pulling away from stationary, which is something you don't find in electric cars with direct drive transmissions. But the payoff is that BMW's technical solution for the 330e allows the car's electric motor, driving through its 8-speed gearbox, to operate more efficiently at higher speeds than it might otherwise. And once the car is rolling, 
electric and combustive power is blended with real skill. The electric motor is managed so that it's always ready with an instant 74 pounds foot of torque fill, which gives the top couple of inches of accelerator pedal close and precise initial control over the car's rate of progress. The motor can also deliver short bursts of up to 184 pounds foot, time to coincide with downshifts and with bigger DIPs into the pedal. Overall, the car's powertrain feels not only nicely lavish and bountiful you'd put BMW's homologated peak power and torque claims down as conservative, if anything but also cohesive and very highly developed. It never feels rushed and strained and takes as naturally to being driven with gusto as it does to the urban grind. Being quite light for a plug-in hybrid of its size and with its battery location preserving a favorable weight distribution, the 330E handles with a sense of balance and keenness that would do any 3 Series credit. Our test car ran on the standard 17iN alloy wheels and run-flat tires that come with sport trim, with standard servotronic power steering and BMW's optional M Sport suspension fitted, which not only firms up the suspension but also takes 10mm out of the car's ride height. The adaptively damped M Sport suspension offered on other 3 Series saloons isn't available. Still, the 330E proves that if you choose your options carefully you can end up with a car with an ideal combination of lateral grip, handling response, control feedback, and body control here and one from which it is possible to take a great deal of pleasure driving. The car's body feels flat through bends and tautly controlled at all times, allowing for instant bite from the steering which itself is weighty, positive, informative, and beautifully uncorrupted. There's enough compliance in the suspension to deal fluently with uneven B-roads, and but not so much as to allow the body to get excited. Just enough adhesion, too, to make the car feel secure when lent on, but not so much as to make for a cumbersome overtired feel to the steering, ride or handling. More mature tastes might prefer the even greater compliance of the car's standard springs, because there's a slight edge of firmness to the M Sport sprung car's ride over sharper edges. But that apart, you couldn't really ask for a more sweet handling saloon. Should I buy one? If you can secure one at a competitive real-world price, absolutely. That's a fairly big if because the 330E will be in relatively short supply compared even with 330i and 330D models, and so is less likely to be available with much of a financial incentive from your BMW dealer. But all other things being equal, I'd happily take a 330E over a 330D or 330I. There's a beguiling mix of refinement, economy, instant torque, and operational range to the car's performance that you won't quite find in either of its rang emates. Somehow, the 330E leaves you with an impression eerily redolent of a mid-1990s E36328I, that is of a smooth, torquey, fast, free revving 3 series that can be equally gutsy when needed but that knows new dimensions in economy and drivability. Moreover, BMW doesn't appear to have got so carried away with the electrified portion of the car's powertrain as to allow it to adversely affect the car dynamically. The 330E feels like it adopts as much high voltage technology as makes it a better 3 series and not a kilogram or kilowatt hour more. BMW 330e Performance Sport Location, Feltham, Middlesex On sale, now Price, £34,475 Engine, 4 sills, 1,998 cubic centimeters, turbocharged, petrol, plus 87 bhp electric motor Power, 249 bhp Torque, 310 pounds foot. Gearbox, 8 SPD automatic. Curb weight, 1,660 kilograms. 0 to 62 miles per hour, 6.1 SEC. Top speed, 140 miles per hour. Economy, 148.7 mpg, combined. CO2 slash tax band. 44 g slash km 7 percent rivals mercedes c350e volkswagen passat gte